Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Go to our look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's second video, day 10 will take us to the 30th of March and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video. For the next four weeks, that gets us well into the second half of April. I shall get on that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just to say that the first of the video today was 6 a.m. upload. And we'll be live streaming at 8 p.m. this evening. So I can do Ensemble's Watch and I shall see you live then uh, for that one. Please like, share and subscribe on the videos. And live streams and whatnot. Thank you so very much. And whatnot. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And hope having a lovely Monday. Right, going to start off with the CT. The central temperature is now sitting at 5.4, which is 0.3 degrees uh, below average. We've virtually unraveled, unraveled, I should say, the uh, cold of an average open 10 days of the month in this uh, second 10-day period. Um, and we wait to see what happens in the final 10 days or so of March to see where that is going to finish up. But quite remarkable how we virtually, um, you know, virtually got rid of that cold of an average anomaly that we had for the first uh, week to 10 days. Um, so, yeah, been really mild uh, 10 days. Uh, these were GFS upright temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Look at Birmingham today. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Birmingham. We're starting off above average still with those upper air temperatures at the moment. We will see them coming back closer to average as we go through the middle and second half of next week. There is still a possibility of a cooler couple of days sometime at the end of the week or into the weekend. Not much of a cold snap uh, showing up there, though. And then we get, when we get into April, it just looks like we're hovering quite close to average, really. Maybe a little bit above, not a strong deviation either way. And just looks regularly unsettled, doesn't it? Lots of precipitation spikes there. More or less from beginning to end, telling us that low pressure will remain in the ascendancy. And there will be further bouts of rain to come. Temperature normally is on the uh, 20th of March of 28th, coming out around to a little bit above average for England Wales, near of normal up across Scotland, though. And precipitation anomalies from the 20th, 28th of, May of uh, March, they're coming out uh, above average, a wetter than average week to come. Uh, but let's move on back from uh, no school. Dot net shows that uh, we're drawing in uh, southwest winds again today, and there's more low pressure in the Atlantic. Various low pressure centres all over the place, and uh, you know there will be further areas of low pressure, conveyor belt of lows coming in over the next week or so from the Atlantic, bringing further bouts of rain. Right, so going for your chart today. So then, Mr. Alex, you can make your roads looking for me tonight on Thursday. Pretty representative of the uh, rest of the model output, I think, this. I could just show you this and then move on, to be honest. But I will go through all of the charts. But it's all very samey, samey. So this is midnight Thursday with uh, low pressure out northwest Scotland. And, uh, you know, as we go through we'll, the end of week into the weekend, low pressure stays in control. This is Saturday, midnight Saturday, the road pressure transfer of these will just start to bring something a little bit colder in uh, from the north. So the weekend, the UK Met Euro Road is going colder for the north anyway. Meanwhile, further south, this load would bring further heavy rain into more southern parts of the coast. Just as far as we get to with the UK Met run, um, by then, just building up a little bit of transient ridge, but it, but it is only ahead of this next area of low pressure waiting in the wings. That does draw up like a very mild southwest road by the beginning of uh, next week. Icon, again, looks unsettled with low pressure in control. At the end of week and into the weekend as well, these areas of low pressure will bring further bouts of rain in from off the Atlantic. So a little bit colder through the weekend as well. The low pressure transfers eastwards. Winds go back into the north, but only temporarily. Um, by the time we get through to the end of the Icon run, we've got a little ridge building up from the southwest, head next low, and we've got more mild southwesty winds waiting for us as well. So further bouts of rain and mild temperatures. Um, when we get to closer days of the month, this is the GFS Midnight Run. 
Again, we see low pressure well truly in control of weather through the end week and into the weekend. Eventually, by midnight, on Sunday, the low pressure moving into the uh, northern nor North Sea or the southern Norwegian Sea. And that we're pulling down a colder northerly wind then. So going a little bit colder through the weekend, especially so in the north. That's that little bit of a cold snap, maybe. Um, doesn't last for long, though. Low pressure ain't coming back in from off the Atlantic ahead of that. We draw up a mild of southerly southeasterly. Heading up toward day 10, the uh, GFS Midnight Run trying to build high pressure over Scandinavia. So a little bit of a battle taking place right at the end of March between high pressure Scandinavia, low pressure out to the Atlantic. All it means really as it is that it just stays unsettled with the weather fronts coming to a bit of a standstill across the country, um, giving perhaps even further uh, heavy rain and you know, long-lasting rain as well. Almost we set up an EC via the Scandinavian high by the end of March. It doesn't quite come up. And eventually through early April we go into push of uh, southwesterly or west wind, but stays unsettled, stays with low pressure continuing to drive in from off the Atlantic. The GFS 6 z run, uh, much of a much this low pressure dominating the weather through the rest of the week into the weekend. That low pressure transfers east was pulled down something a little bit colder from the north and from the north to the east through the uh, weekend. So a, a couple of days of, of uh, slightly cooler or colder weather through the weekend. And then into next week, the onslaught goes on. More low pressure in from off the Atlantic with further bouts of uh, wind and rain as well. Winds coming up from the southwest, so we'll be turning mild as we get towards a month's end. That's the uh, last day of March. Winds back in from the north again. Brief little cold snap there. First of April. Again, the next low coming in from off the Atlantic. And we get this nasty looking low just to our southwest. That could bring heavy rain gales to more southern parts of the country in the opening days of April before finally, 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 we get a proper rake building in from the Azores High there through the 3rd of uh, April, doesn't last long by the 5th, that high pressure pulling back out into the Atlantic, and winds are going back into a uh, northwesterly uh, again. Uh, right, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. We've got to put around 19 subscribers, 1-9, uh, to get ourselves to 15.7k, so if you could give a sub and tell, if you could give us a sub, Tell friends and family to, to, to subscribe. That would be amazing. In fact, so much everyone for doing that. GM, again, with low pressure in control of weather through the end week into the weekend. Very little change. More low pressures in from off the Atlantic. It turns a little bit colder in the north, though, as this low pressure is uh, that bit further southwards. But basically, it's all low pressure all the way. That's 29th of March, day 9, where we bring in a colder northwest sea with that low to the north of Scotland. Um, that's day 10, 30th March, one low clear away, Scandinavia, next low waiting in the wings, a little transient ridge in between, um, but this low here, <laughs> that low there has our name well and truly on it for the last day of March, I suspect. And then the ECMWF, um, oh, much of much this low pressure dominates the weather through the rest of the week into the weekend. The low pressure just heads a little bit further southwards. Some colder air starts to push back into the north, turns northern areas colder. And uh, maybe even a little bit of winchiness on the northern side of this low. We'd have to wait and see about that closer to the time. Um, eventually, though, by the beginning of next week, that uh, little ridge is moving away to the east. Next low is coming in from the Atlantic. That's got more heavy rain with it, but also a milder push of southerly winds. And right way up to Daytown, just the convey about goes on with further low pressure in control. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. You can see plenty of uh, rain coming and going over the uh, next few days. We'll be cold enough, cold enough for some wintry weather up in the north. Generally rain further southwards as we get to the end of the week. There's that nasty little area of low to the south. Brings a bit of a delta use to southern parts of the country. There was a sleet and snow possible on the northern edge of that. Uh, then we're into those southerly winds, so uh, more heavy rain piling off the Atlantic. That turns a little bit sick, so on the leading edge. And we just keep those bouts of rain going all the way up to day 10, to be honest. 
Uh, these will be options on the table within the ECL ensembles today at four day 10. Gets us to the 30th of March from the Icelandic Met Office. 22 members of the ECL ensembles with low pressure to the east. High pressure is around Greenland. And so that's going to be pulling in potentially quite a chilly northwesterly or even northerly wind. 18 with high pressure over France and up towards Greenland, low pressure over Scandinavia. That should be bringing up something a little bit milder from the southwest. And then 11 with high pressure to the east and low pressure out to west. That means bouts of rain in from off the Atlantic, but a milder southwest wind, and that does include the control and the operational run. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This will get us to the 4th of March. April, I should say. <laughs> 18 members, 4th of April, 18 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure over um, France. Low pressure is way to our north and west, so relatively unsettled but milder. 15 with deep low pressure through the country. That could be very, very unsettled indeed. 9 with high pressure towards the Canadian side of Greenland, low pressure to our north and east, that can be very unsettled and potentially a little bit on the cool side. And then uh, another nine with a mid-Atlantic ridge, which is heading up towards uh, Greenland and Iceland, and uh, bringing the wind from uh, more of a northerly direction. Back. So that's the driest option, but, um, you know, it's a little bit on the cool side. And then Sarah so, me 2 finally, uh, these are 500 millibar high tolerance broken down into a week period, the first week period, takes from the 20th, 26th of March. The coming week looks unsettled with low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So this is a little bit of an onslaught type pattern. Week two will be the 27th of March to the 2nd of April. More low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. So staying unsettled there. Quite a change for week three, <laughs> which is the third to the 9th of April. A uh, high pressure then ridging through the country and heading up towards Greenland and Iceland. So that does bring about much drier weather. Could be rather on the cold side. Um, I think we're probably coming in from the north as high pressure centre around Greenland. However, it is April, so by day, probably not too bad. Could be ground frost though at night. It is a, only a one week wonder though, because by week four, which is the 10th to 16th of April, we're actually back under low pressure again. Um, or we're going back into low pressure with, with the high going away towards the Black Sea and pulling out towards the uh, centre of the Atlantic. And so with that, we've got a dip in jet stream. And, uh, and so that's going to be cool and or t cooler and unsettled again there through the middle part of April. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for getting out. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get too friends about Gals Web. It's our thank you subscribe and help get us to 15.7k. Thanks so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, we're done then with today's bids. But we are going to be live streaming at uh, 8 pm. So I shall see you then for that one with Ensembles. What well, just to tell you back tomorrow, we've got 6 a.m. upload the ECM WF 30 day forecast for UK and Western Europe and a 10 to 14 day. As well, so keep checking back to the channel for more. But for uh, today's uh, video, that's all for now. I'll see you later on for our live, maybe. Um, but for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.